already before he came here. And he had a cigarette with, with a, a, a long thing. And he went like this, said, you know, you should have ashtrays here. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's Ben with Tone Base, and I'm here across the street from Carnegie Hall to have. That's good, but good to get to Carnegie Hall. Hey, that one. So, I want to speak of how the great upheavals that occurred during the first half of the 20th century directly affected the artistic lives of my generation of musicians in the U.S. The vast majority of talented American musicians from previous generations would go to Europe to study. There were almost no major American performing artists. In fact, uh, most of the um, first group of world-class uh, um, American composers studied in Paris with Nadia Boulanger. The musicians in our orchestras were in large numbers from Europe. I was told this is before my time, that the languages used at rehearsals were usually German or Russian. Sometimes, especially with woodwind players, um, German, uh, uh, Italian or French. Okay, then came the Russian Revolution, which caused many major performers and composers to leave. Most ended up in the U.S. Then the Depression, which was even worse in Germany than in the U.S., and the coming of fascism, which caused a flood of major figures to come, some to flee to the U.S. By the way, this morning I had breakfast and uh, Eduardo, Delgado, we were talking a little bit about this, and he mentioned that in Argentina um, there was also an influx um, of such people, and, and later as well. And I know myself that Cuba, Mexico also received quite a number. But uh, the huge the flood um, really came, came to the United States. Most of the new arrivals settled in the region between Washington and Boston, especially New York. Another group, made up largely of composers, went to uh, the Los Angeles area. This meant that my generation of young musicians, mainly because of the Russian Revolution and around a decade later, Adolf Hitler, we had, just around the time we were starting our studies, living right next to us. In my case, some, some of them.